Hello today, and today I'm going to be doing a video for a response for Novabug for his Friday's Foursome number 18, and this is Movie Titan Games. Now I can answer this one. <laughs> As we can see, I've got the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad CPC 464 set up. I just thought as it's um, a retro question, I thought I'll get the retro computers out. Um, sometimes I'll get the Amstrad out, but I thought I'll get them both out and set them both up. As you can see, they're both set up. I know on the camera that looks like it's flickering. Always cameras, cameras always have problems focusing on or looking at CRT televisions or monitors. If I look at it, it's not really flickering at all. Just a slight flicker, but nothing as bad as that. Always with CRT TVs, but as you can see, that's an LCD TV, which the Commodore 64 is plugged into. Enough of that, but what I'm gonna do, as it's a retro theme, let's load a game on both of them. It's the same game, I don't know what's going to happen with the volumes because I haven't tested it out. <laughs> um, but my four favourites, well, the four I remember the, what I played the most actually because I didn't really have a lot of tie-in movie tie-in games. Um, only for the Amstrad, that's the Amstrad loading. This is just for the younger generations just to see how long it took a game back in the day to load. But we enjoyed the days. You know, it was great days. Gaming was brilliant, unlike now, which it's brilliant. Yes, it's, it, don't get me wrong, it's brilliant, but I don't know, it just isn't the same. Maybe I'm just getting a bit older. I don't know. But uh, yep, they're both loading away. Um, so my first choice um, would be Tron on the arcade. Reason why? Because I think that was my first ever movie tying game I ever played. Um, I never played Star Wars back in the day though, because that, that would have been my choice. Um, but, <coughs> but no, it's, um, it was Tron, because that was the first ever game I played. I thought back in the day that was quite good. Um, I think the game was split up into four areas. Um, you could choose what one to start on, but quite a challenging game. I mean, you've got to watch the film to appreciate the game, like with any movie tie and You've got to watch the film to appreciate it better. But I thought it was a good game to play. Um, if you've not played it, I won't give any plots away, like with any of the games, but but it was, it's just it was split up into four levels. Um, you had to do it, was quite faithful to the movie, but. It wasn't really, but, but the levels there were. Um, but it was done in different sequences, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I thought it was a good game. And my second choice, um, this is a, for the Amstrad CPC. Um, usually there will be music coming out there, Commodore 64, wait a minute. There we go, I don't want to tell you that. Yeah, so the Commodore 64 had a good um, thing, it had music when it, loading, when it loads up, something the Amstrad hardly never did, you just get that horrible loading noise, which was quite authentic back in the day. Anyway, I'm going off at a tangent already, but I'll say my second choice will be Ghostbusters for the Amstrad CPC. Now this is a game that I really played a lot back in the day, um, when I first got it, back in 85 or 86. Um, originally first came out on the Commodore 64, which I did own later on. I also played it um, before, I think I played it before the I did it on the Amstrad. Um, about briefly though, but yeah, that was a good game. Um, it had a map of New York and you had to go around saving um, New York from ghosts to go into each building. Um, good game, I thought it was a good game. Um, you, had to, you had to bank account, so you, had, you start off with 10, I think it was $10,000 and you've got to buy equipment and your car. 
you had a choice of four cars and you can buy all this different equipment um, yeah but then you have to save the town and obviously the more ghosts you get the more your bank balance went up obviously you missed them you missed the marshmallow man you'd lose money it was about it was about making money basically but it was a good game I quite enjoyed it and at the end you have to face the marshmallow man um, quite difficult but I would definitely say after playing the game the Commodore 64 version was a better version it didn't take as long to play you had an um, a last menu sequence and uh, not a menu sequence a lot like an animation at the end like the Amstrad 6128 or the disc version ad which I didn't understand why because the Amstrad could have done that um, I don't know but anyway I thought it was a good game anyway um, so that was Ghostbusters I'd say my third choice so another bug on this one would be Batman either the Amstrad CPC version or the Amiga version I had them both back in the day also had it on the Commodore 64 as you can see that's what's loading up at the moment on both computers is Batman I thought I don't know what was the better version obviously the Amiga version was brilliant um, but both of these versions were pretty good I'd say the music sounded better on the Commodore 64 um, with the SID chip, but I'm not taking anything away from the AY chip. Um, I don't know, I just thought the music sounded better on the Commodore 64 for some reason. Um, both done by the same artist, I think it was Matthew Cannon who did uh, both versions. I don't know if he'd done the Amiga version at all. As we see, the Am uh, Commodore 64 version is already loaded and we're still waiting for the Amstrad to load up. And it says error, and it says error. So after all that, the bloody tape is it said error and it's still loading up for some reason, I don't know. I don't think it works anyway. <laughs> I have no other tapes, no other movie times at the moment. I couldn't find one, I, I don't have one, I didn't have time to really download it or put it on tape. Anyway, yeah, so that's um, Batman, you know, it's safe, faithful to the movie. Um, when in Aldo, you, um, first you're in Access Chemicals, you have to find Jack and put so he, you shoot him and he falls into the chemicals that's when he becomes the Joker then you drive the car the Batmobile um, get into the Batcave then you got a once you're in the Batcave you have to send for the, um, the chemical or whatever it does the chemical thing so you get the right thing then you fly the Batwing then you have and it's the end you've got to um, face the Joker on the um, rooftop and going up yeah so it was a good game never complete it <laughs> and leads me to my last choice um, Robocop 2 on the Commodore 64 reason why I didn't put Robocop in I did have it on the Amstrad but it was a bloody hard game I could never get off level 1 but Robocop 2 on the Commodore 64 um, first ever game on the Commodore 64 that I had a cartridge well I didn't it was my mates at the time um, I didn't own no cartridges um, but I um, oh, oh it's in there I ain't gonna get it out so I've got it up there but yeah I thought it was a good game um, I think it was another um, Nova Bugs favourite but he liked it on the GX4000 Plus I never saw it at the, in the day on the Plus but I played the emulation of it and I thought it was fucking fantastic the graphics and the colours on it. I thought that that version was better than the Commodore 64 version but I never had a plus machine back in the day so I made do with the Commodore 64 version. Um, yeah, stayed faithful to the film. Um, you basically start off shooting, finding the, I think it's the narcotics factory, um, drugs you know when I was making a nuke and blah 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 then you face um, Robocop 2 at the end but oh, I could never get that far <laughs> so there's my four favourites um, maybe because it was more nostalgia for me and I played the, they're the ones that I played the most um, I don't know if I showed you that that's what I had on my Amstrad so we had obviously this is when I first played them so we have Batman the movie Robocop so that's what when I played it 
Indiana Jones, well, that wasn't all that good, to be honest with you, especially on the Amstrad version. Ghostbusters 2, that was a good version on the Amstrad. Done by the Oliver Twins. Did I ever get anywhere far in it? No, I couldn't. I couldn't even get off the first level. But yeah, so there's my four. Tron, Arcade, Ghostbusters, Amstrad CPC, Batman, it's hard to say the Amstrad, Amiga, or the Commodore 64 version. Um, both had their weaknesses, both had good parts about the game. As I say, the Amstrad version, it was the music. It, didn't, it was alright, but it just did not sound as good as the Commodore 64. Graphics were better on the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad, but I thought the Amstrad version played better. Um, Amiga, well, that was just brilliant. And Robocop 2 on the Commodore 64. There you go. So that's the Friday Foursome, number 18. Done. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.